Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. I haven't really done much planning but I've been working a lot on certain rooms of the apartment. This one is kind of coming to an end. There's one more thing coming here but anyway. One particular room that I feel like is never gonna be a finished story is my wardrobe. So I've told you recently that I'm kind of trying to keep it as minimalistic as possible. I don't want to have too many bags. I don't want to have like too many shoes. I want to have that one shelf for the shoes, one shelf for the bags and that of the wardrobe that I have that is on display. I want that to only contain the clothing that I'm actually wearing, loving, that it's very easy to get dressed. Nothing is like overwhelming or I don't know, like too all over the place. You know, like when I get up in the morning and I go to the wardrobe, I want to know and see exactly what I want to wear. I don't want to have a lot of clothes that I'm not enjoying, that I'm not wearing in front of my eyes and is kind of going pretty well, I have to say. Everything that I brought to Paris with me and I haven't worn, I got kind of rid of. I basically either gave to my friends or I sold um, for charity. As you guys know, we do that all the time anyway. So I'm kind of trying to make it work. Saying that there are, there are some pieces in my wardrobe that I've noticed I like to wear more as we get into autumn. I find the trends do change and my personal style is changing a little bit because I don't know if it's the Paris, I've kind of said in the previous video, I don't know if it's Paris, I don't know if it's because I'm in love, I don't know if it's because it's COVID, everything's affected my style so much, I don't know what it is, but somehow I, I feel that I'm gravitating towards different things and I will talk about that a little bit more in this video. First things first, I have a lot of new things that I want to show you. And hold on a second, I know that I'm like getting a lot of like coats and boots and knits, but I always do that. Like specifically every November, I love to make the most out of discounts. It's the Black Friday month. Now it's like a black month, I think. And this year discounts are going to be better than ever. I am trying to regularly update my blog with all the like best deals, my stories, like everything that I can share with you. I'm trying to kind of share um, because they're like discounts already like 30-40% off. Even some of these things I got um, discounted. So I kind of wanted to share that with you as well because why not? Besides that, I always feel very spendy sort of in April, May and I would say like October, November. More than like, I don't know, in August, I'm never really feeling like shopping in August or July or even January when it's like kind of almost end of a season. I'm always feeling very excited to shop summer dresses in April and the boots, coats and knits in October, November, which is what's been happening. And I'm also preparing my wardrobe for Vlogmas. So yes, I think I'm gonna do it. Before we start, I wanted to say that this video is in collaboration with my Theresa, who has been my ongoing partner for years. I love shopping there. I shop there all the time. And because I shop there a lot, I kind of developed certain privileged status on the platform, which means that I have discounts. I have access to um, stuff before anybody else very often. Like if you shop a lot on their platform, they give you sort of like privileged status. So you can get like first look to the new collections and like pieces that are really hard to get. You get your own personal shopper that can also help you like find pieces that, um, for example, you really want, but you can't find your size. Uh, and you get like a few of these like pre-sales before anybody else. So I decided to make the most out of it. I got quite a few pieces that I cannot wait to show you. And you will notice that most of them are kind of like a more of basic pieces, more, mm, I don't know, like muted. I want them to be in my wardrobe for a long time. I want to be able to build around them. I will style them how I want to wear them for autumn, winter. So that you see that as well. And I'm gonna try and really like create outfit, not just like try on. I also got this one, my three sub, but a while back. Was that in like April or something? I don't know. I remember it was in the first lockdown. Um, I really, really love it. I think it's so amazing. I worn it a lot and I want to get more of these tops because they come in, I think, in black and burgundy in different colors as well. Everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. A lot of the outfits as well, if you want to see them, check out my Instagram. That's basically like my collage for looks. You know, I, I like to kind of post everything that I wear. So 
If you ever, ever wonder where something is from, you can also check in my Instagram bio. There's a link which will take you to uh, my shop, my Instagram page on my blog where you can like literally shop all the looks from my Instagram. It's very, very easy. And that is kind of answering most of your questions. So let's start. First item that I got, it's something that I have been eyeing for a long time. And I finally decided to get it because I mean, it was about time. It's from one of my favorite designers as well. So here we go. It's a jacket. Um, it's kind of like a military beige khaki color uh, blazer from Magda Butram, who is, I would say in one of my top five, like favorite designers. I love those kind of brands that are more um, easy to wear, but also contemporary with cool styling. But in this haul, you're going to see a lot of pieces that I have not seen anywhere before. And many of them are from designers that I don't hear other influencers really talk about. I think like what's really important when it comes to our job is also informing you about designers, about the new things and about items that I think are so amazing, but are not just like a... Uh, Gucci, Balenciaga and those brands that I really love but I think that most of the people kind of are already informed about those pieces and I would like to find some things that also are in the same range I think like they're so beautiful they're great uh, they're made so well and of course I still love the pieces that are more commercial but I also wanted to show you some of the designers in here that I think don't get enough attention online so Magda Butram is I believe one of my like favorite favorite designers you guys know I often shop from her. I bought like a gray suit from her earlier this year. I bought like several dresses from her this year. I really love her. I think the stuff is made so well, but the tailoring is what, if you ask me, I think she's the best at. Now these blazers are always like wide shoulders that like go down a little bit and then cinched waist. I think that's honestly like the most beautiful silhouette for me. And what I love this jacket for is that you will notice it comes with a leather belt and it has that cinched waist uh, vibe. But what I love it for specifically is I would like to wear it as a dress. So it's kind of like a jacket dress. Um, now imagine this with like black tights, over the knee boots or knee boots or ankle boots, uh, just with tights because where I live, you cannot get away with bare legs. But if you live in California and I don't know, winter is mild. I love this so much. I think this is a perfect trendy piece, but it's also smart and tailored and beautiful. So versatile. I will wear it forever. And I really, really love jackets like this. I think Magda does them better than anybody. So I'm very happy that I got my hands on this piece. Another designer that I think doesn't get a lot of attention on YouTube scene would be Peter Do. Now, I think that his pieces are so incredible. He's a younger designer and his pieces are really original, different, creative. And what bothers me sometimes is that I see that sometimes like brands take the idea and just like adapt his idea and create it and then it becomes more of a high street thing but i know that he came up with it first so yeah you know whatever uh this piece that i wanted to show you is something i've been looking at for a while um with peter though the pieces are a little bit more expensive but you have to kind of keep in mind that it's a newer designer and those kind of designers they don't have like massive they don't like own factory productions that can make like tons of things you know they make things and they sell things and they want to invest in quality and pieces as they are so i really want to support those designers plus i know with peter though when you buy something you're not going to be wearing like the same thing as everybody else so it's really really cool and i've been looking at this particular item for a while now so very happy to have gotten it and you now are thinking like what it's a strappy top wow how original but actually this is just one part of the top it is like a ribbed knit top with straps over it this is really hard to show on camera you will have to see what it looks like on but basically over it you have these sleeves that look like something that was very popular when i was a child in the 90s it's this basically it's just the sleeves and then i mean you will see it when i try it on but what i love about this is that you actually get two tops so you get this black ribbed top right that you can wear as a basic piece it's very lara croft kind of vibe and then you get the sleeves which you can wear even with something like this with any other top with any other body that you have and actually this one is 
two tones so the top this top bottom top is black and the top 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 is navy um so it is also like a kind of a bit of a contrast as you can see which i think is beautiful i think this is quite creative i think peter though is an amazing designer and i strongly strongly recommend his pieces so yeah love it next up is a sweater that you would have seen me kind of have before you will know what i mean if you follow me regularly and if you're subscribed to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel i think you should subscribe now because and you're already watching a while so hopefully we can be friends this sweater over here is isabel moran knit i have a very similar one in pastel colors you guys know it like i said and this is another ombre one it's just in yellow tones i think this is so beautiful for autumn i just remember like a tiktok video which says like um colors nobody likes and it's like yellow brown and white and it's literally everything that you can see here. I love these colors. I think they're perfect for autumn. I think yellow suits everybody, really, if you're a blonde or you're a brunette. And um, this particular knit, I love. It's like a mohair blend, and usually I hate, like, well, I don't hate mohair, but um, the angora e materials, I really, really dislike because they always end up being all over my eyelashes, coat, everywhere, and it's always very inconvenient. But this material is amazing. It's really, really great quality and i think i will be wearing this a lot i hope the light in this video is not going to be changing like so many times it's kind of going to work for like one minute and then it dies and so on so we cannot keep that so let me know what you think about this background and about this light i love this knit and i'm very much looking forward to wearing it specifically love both of them uh, the pastel one and the kind of yellow brown new addition to my wardrobe next item in my autumn winter wardrobe you will be surprised when i say it's a pair of shorts and why i think it's surprising is because i mean who wears shorts especially in parisian winter or london winter but this pair is kind of maroonish burgundy aubergine color it's a pair of leather shorts now i love 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 wearing anything paper bag which means that the top of the trousers skirt or shorts are kind of like they look like a paper bag when you close it so cinched waist and then a little bit like this and then at the bottom it goes out i love that because i think it's very flattering it's beautiful for me particularly uh paper bag shorts you guys remember the attico ones i wore a whole summer the denim ones really really love them and equally i think i will wear these a lot i think this is something that i can wear when i just want to feel nice you know like when i want to dress up i want to feel nice i want to go to like for a walk and i want to dress up but at the same time i want to be comfortable not in a dress not in a skirt i love the color because it's more autumnal and the fact that it's leather means it's more of a wintry piece than let's say uh i don't know like silk shorts right um also wanted to say you guys know i have like I don't know like five six brands of jewelry that i really really love wearing and i always go back to the same ones it's kind of how i am i will link all of my rings in the description box below hopefully you can see them it's not too washed out because of the light i go through very different styles of jewelry in autumn and winter opposed to the summer like summer i like to wear dainty necklaces you know that you can wear on tops and you can see on tops like this but winter i like heavier necklaces like these and even bigger chunky ones more like chains because i think like i wear more knits and heavier stuff i also like to layer my rings i love 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 wearing a lot of rings as you guys can see my favorite thing to play with like without doubt our earrings now i will come closer so that you can see my uh, earrings and my piercings and it's not a secret that when it comes to those little hoops my favorite brand in the whole entire world of what the hoops is maria tash i love it so much and in fact i got a few piercings um, on this occasion as well because i'm excited to change up my ear game a little bit so the first item that I picked up, I'm not going to put them on in my ear right now, but you will see it in a little um, kind of footage when I just cleanse them because every time I buy new piercings, I always make sure to disinfect them first. It's a little hoop with a hanging chain. And when you look at it from the front, it has a crystal on or like a diamond on a chain that's hanging. I think it's really beautiful. The chain is double. Honestly, like one of the most stunning hoops I have, I think it's going to go on this 
ear over here after that one there's one stud i've been looking at for a very long time i was trying to decide should i should i not should i should i not it's so beautiful and shiny and it's a little lotus stud um so it just looks like it looks like a third of a flower or a half of a flower sort of thing um now this one i was thinking of putting in my front helix or in my back helix over here so that it just adds a bit of sparkle i really love it i think it's so beautiful i will link them below as well because i think they're so beautiful you guys have to check them and the third that when i saw i was like <gasps> I love stars. So I have, what have I got? I have this little hoop with a star over here. I will try and link the existing ones that I have as well below because you guys always ask me that. And then I have this one here with multiple stars, which I think is so stunning. It's like beyond, but it's a rose gold. I mix, by the way, my golds. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I think it's beautiful. So I love stars. And when I saw this one, this is like a simple hoop with no diamonds on the actual hoop, just a star that's hanging at the bottom. And I even thought that if I put this in the front helix, it will look super cute because the star will be dangling. You will see how the final results look when I put all of these earrings in. So I would like to get a new piercing, but I would have to wait until I can go back to London uh, because of the fact that i like to get my piercings at liberties okay guys this is your girl tamara from the future i now put all the earrings as i wanted this ear is full of kind of oldies but goodies you will notice i have the star earrings both here now my date piercing is how it was before and then we have my safety pin earring and this little baby here i might actually replace this one soon because i think it looks a little bit odd the metal color with these i'm not sure but the other ear is where all the changes have happened they're not final because i still need to kind of see how i feel with them and what i like and what i like more and what i like less so what i've changed up is specifically the helix piercing i took the the single star piercing which is here now i took it out of the helix and it's over here uh so here i put the the lotus now it's like sparkling so much more and i don't know if i'm gonna keep it there but for now i really like it there and then in the front helix i have put the dangly star which i really really like because now you can see it even from the front which was not the case before and i really like it because you know i have dark hair so if there's just a stud here you never see it because the hair covers it completely and i have a lot of hair and like sideburns and stuff so you don't really get to see what's going on in the front helix but this star really shines so nicely and then in the very very front earring i got the dangly chains one and i think it's so beautiful uh very specific as you can see i think it will get a lot of attention um but in general what i like about these earrings so much is that they are all kind of dainty and tiny but now i'm not sure if i have too many hanging things let me know what you think i'm always super curious to hear your opinions but overall i love all the earrings and 100 keeping them all next item i would like to show you is very different from what i have shown before it's a pair of jeans and these are flares now flares have been kind of out well they were kind of trying to come back but not really and uh, i remember when i was like 13 or 14 flares were like the biggest thing ever and i loved wearing flares but at the moment i'm not so much into flares as i am into wide legs straight baggy jeans that you can just wear on like a casual day to day i think those type of jeans are really cool now and that the skinny cropped jeans are on the way out i think like even when i put on my old skinny crop jeans i'm like I'm not into this anymore and this is what i was saying at the beginning of the video i'm kind of buying clothes now because i'm over some of the stuff like when i put them on i just don't feel so great in my skinny cropped jeans anymore i don't know what it is it's just like a personal feeling maybe it's nothing to do with trends i don't even think this is a particular trend but in my head it's just how i feel or in my heart really <laughs> i have like this idea of a casual look 
which involves baggy jeans, my Air Jordans, like I don't like wearing um, Air Jordans with the jeans tucked in or like a tracksuit. For me, that's not the style that I like to go for. I like to go for like a baggy jeans over them, uh, perhaps a turtleneck, like a hoodie and a cap. That's my very, very casual, like a travel look or a look for a walk or just being casual when the life resumes, you know, as it used to be once upon a time. But like I said, these are not exactly what I wanted 100%. I wanted like the baggier wide leg version, uh, which hopefully I will find one day somewhere. I think Levi's has an option, but I'm still searching for them. If you find what I need, I'll let you know, but these until then, will do the job and because i'm kind of like going off the jeans that i have i'm getting more into the trousers so i saw these uh, on my Teresa, and these are brunello cuccinelli uh, really smart beautiful trousers now look at the print it's kind of a smart but also relaxed vibe now what i love about brunello is that the quality and the tailoring is on a really really high level like it's another level really uh the way that this brand does everything i mean their cashmere the wool is really really uh, great quality and it does come with a price attached to it because obviously it kind of corresponds to the way the materials that are used and the way it's made but i really never regretted buying something from brunello cuccinelli i think it's a really great brand and these trousers are going to be like a basic staple piece in my wardrobe something i can wear for very smart occasions but also for more casual with sneakers ankle boots high heels or like you know very very even with a hoodie on you can wear these trousers these trousers are so amazing because of that reason and i'm very excited i got them in my usual uh, size and they seem to be very comfortable perfect fit and i'm very excited to be wearing them more now i got another accessory this is a hair accessory and i really love this black velvet bow now imagine if i had blonde hair how cute this would be you will see how i style it when i style it when i remove the tag and all that stuff i really love the velvet bows and i've always wanted to have one of these just to put on my low uh, like this basically on the low uh, kind of ponytail but another way of wearing it besides like at the back is also using my Chanel uh, hairpin I never really use this hairpin in hair because I, I just don't think that my hair would really support this you know so what I love about this is that you can put easily and have this vibe or any brooch any 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 chanel brooch any i don't know gucci dior pin anything you have in your wardrobe you can put through this bow it's really inexpensive but when you add the brooch to it it gets such a luxurious beautiful vibe and this at the back of the hair i think is so cute but also i guess you can put it on your clothing i wouldn't do that personally because i'm not really into bows like you know but on my hair i think this will be very classy very beautiful and if you have blonde hair this will be even better because it will stand out so much more than it does on a brunette let's see i got another pair of pants and these pants so this is there's like a background story to this of course uh, about two years ago I went to a Nyona fashion show in Milan and they dressed me for the show they gave me a pair of I mean I went and I chose a look of course I wore these beige trousers I love the trousers so much that I was like oh my god these trousers are the best fitted trousers I've ever tried in my life I love the material I love everything blah 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 never could find them again it was just a sample but never could find them again and now I saw on my Teresa a great kind of version now these are also like type of smart trousers that don't have to be smart so similar to the Brunello ones uh, these are a little bit uh, cheaper comparing to the Brunello and I really like them because I like this gray it's a similar gray to my Magda Butrum trousers however it's a completely different style of trousers I can wear these tucked in boots because they're less baggy I can wear them with I don't know my loafers i can wear them with heels again or whatever and what i love about them so much is that they're perfect for this time of the year because they come with an elastic band so no matter how much christmas food you have you will be fine and gray is one of my favorite colors so i got one pair of shoes only one i mean 
like yeah i don't know but it's also kind of from a bit of a designer niche or designer i suppose not really that niche but jw anderson is really like an incredible artist when it comes to design and i've spoken about these shoes before i've told you i wanted them i specifically pointed it out on my Teresa website and these are one of the biggest trends actually for autumn winter uh jewelry shoes now many designers came up with the kind of jewelry shoes and this is like a simple heel now simple shoe so if you look at the front it's the kind of you know the shape of the shoe that's been like classic for a few seasons now but the front bit is stunning uh, what i really love about these shoes is when, when i tried them on i was even more surprised how beautiful they are than when i saw them online when i first saw them i was like okay they're beautiful this like round thing is a little bit in your face which is what i love about fashion i love when fashion is a little bit in your face you know i don't like the basic beige fashion that is like just this you know i don't know why but i love those little things here and there and this for me is uh, like an incredible shoe i got it in size 40 you guys know i'm 39 to 40 got them in 40 i would suggest kind of if you're in between sizes going your size like up but in general it's a true to size i think they're available right now so you will want to get them sandra and i keep saying that all of those girls that are going to be wanting them later on they'll be sold out this is like a very very beautiful shoe and it's also quite festive because of the detailing now another kind of brand that i suppose is not super um like famous online would be this korean brand called low classic sorry about the tag hopefully you can see it properly this is my favorite 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 neutral color so if i could pick just one favorite neutral color it would be this one and i believe this is like an oatmeal color i can never have enough pieces in oatmeal like do you guys know how much i love oatmeal as like a color for knits and what i want i want to have full sets in this color outfits in this color for me are like everything when i saw this knit i knew i had to have it because i love the shape it's quite structured it's ribbed and um the sleeves are they're like they go like this can you see and low classic has lower price point comparing to most of the designers but the designs are very innovative very cool and in general i love korean designers like it's not a secret you guys know how much i love like rock and you know those type of brands that always bring some kind of innovation to their design low classic is one of them so check it out like i'll link it below click on the designer click on the link click on the designer and check it all out it's really amazing now i got one more piece of jewelry and this is for the first time ever from this designer so tamara is stepping away from her five designers that she wears and going into a new exploring the new waters um it's from era and it's a mono earring it comes in a little box like this and it is a gold jewelry era makes very innovative designs when it comes to jewelry i've never owned any of the mono earrings and this is the first time that i will be uh, trying it on i really like it it's like a letter c i'm holding it for the tag i need to remove it but i need to remove it carefully i don't want to rip it so uh here we go and from the front it has like a little loop and a hole i don't know if you can see that but i think it would go very well on this ear over here it's a little tiny gold earring and i think it's very beautiful so i wanted to try something different they also do very colorful earrings as well yeah check era out i think it's very cool brand and the earrings are pretty cool we have another pair of jeans and i think redan is my favorite brand of jeans one of my favorite brands which is really hard to say statements like this nowadays online um these are more of kind of skinny jeans but not skinny jeans they're again straight leg but um a little bit tighter maybe that i wanted them they're kind of like the the stove pipe uh, jeans they have um hem which is like uh, rugged like it's kind of ripped no proper um like seams and things like that i really love this color of the denim and i thought these would be perfect with my like bottega bottega boots with um cowboy boots with anything that can be in or out 
and yeah i wanted to get it i'm not going to talk too much about a pair of jeans because it's just a pair of jeans there is no science behind it you can either love them or not and i have another knit surprise surprise how many knits can one person own not enough clearly um again in my favorite color Ta-da! Uh, this all like is my favorite one favorite color these like what bothers me are these black table legs but i love these tables so it's okay um this is another kind of knit and this one is very specific because of the shoulder the way the shoulders are um, done i really like this stitching so that it kind of creates a bit of volume on the shoulder and a beautiful silhouette so you can wear these as more of a trouser like cinched waist i think they should always be worn with cinched waist because the shoulders are an accent and i think this is like a very very comfortable not itchy very soft and cozy um, knit that I will be able to wear throughout the winter plus the shoulders are not too hard so if I want to wear a coat over it it's going to be very comfortable which I think is also very very important so this is the last item that I wanted to show you I'm super curious to hear what item was your favorite I'm planning to do a lot of autumn styling videos now I think I kind of am I don't want to say done with shopping but because you know next thing you know I get loads of more things but November is a month where I like to enjoy all of the benefits perks and discounts that I can related to Black Friday so Make sure to check out my stories as well because I will be posting daily discounts. I will try and like create maybe a highlight as well so that we can, um, you know, I can show you what I've loved from the kind of most recent offerings. And that's it. Let me know what was your favorite piece. I would like to create more of like dedicated now next videos until the end of the month. So for example, favorite boots, favorite coats, uh, things I like to wear the most, etc. So let me know styling of what would you like to see the most. If it's the biker boots, if it's the best boots for fall, if it's the best coats for fall winter, let me know what you'd like to see. And I promise I will do more of those dedicated styling videos now because I have a lot of clothes now that I can show you how to style. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care and stay well. Bye.